Definitely a test type problem. All right, so at the instant shown in the figure, All right, the instance shown in the figure, uh, cars A and B are traveling with speeds of 18 and 12, and they're drawn on there. Uh, they're also decreasing or increasing their speed at two and three. Those are drawn on there. Determine the velocity and acceleration of B with respect to A. So this is obviously a relative problem, and I think it's obvious that they're asking for B slash A and the acceleration of B slash A. So I need to do b slash a so i would you know sometimes i just start with the formula that we've got on the formula sheet which would be vb equals va plus vb slash a uh, but if i'm just looking for vb slash a uh, i also know that's vb minus va same equation just rearrange all right So let me plug in what I know. Um, I, I know VB completely. It's, it's drawn on there. It's 12 down. I know VA completely. It's drawn on there. It's 18. Uh, and so my two unknowns are just everything on the left-hand side of my equation. I don't know the direction and magnitude of the relative term VB slash A. You can think about those are my two unknowns. Or you can think, I don't know the I or the J component of VB slash A. So maybe think those are your two unknowns. Um, but let's just let me find it. Let's just plug uh, in what we know. VB is 12, uh, negative 12 J, right? Make sure you know your I's and J's and make, be careful with positives and negatives. Minus VA. What is VA? It's 18. At this, the road's at 60 degrees from, from my horizontal perspective. Uh, so I'd say it's to the left, 18 cosine 60 in the I, and it's down 18 sine 60 in the J. Right? And so I'll just be very careful with this negative, make sure that negative uh, subtracts the whole VA. Add the I's together, add the J's together. And please don't try to, don't try to add I's and J's into one number, right? They're, they're separate. So I've got 9I plus 3.6J. I need units. Units were meters per second. And let's leave it like that. If it just asks, just asks for velocity, leave it like that as a vector. If it, had, if it had asked for the magnitude and direction, then I would a squared plus b squared uh, take the square root to get the magnitude and then visualize the direction. All right, the acceleration of b slash a would be uh, acceleration of b minus acceleration of a. All right, uh, what is the acceleration of b? B is increasing its speed, uh, and, and just kind of notice where it's pointed. It, it, it's actually drawn on here for you, but, you know, when something is going that direction and it's increasing, it's accelerating that direction. So that would be 3 uh, in the negative J because it's pointed down. All right. So the acceleration of car B is negative 3J. Am I forgetting something? The, yeah, did you notice that it's in a, and especially that raised curvature is a red flag. It's still in the curve. It's still in a curved path. When anything's in a curved path, don't forget about normal acceleration. Normal acceleration is always into the curve. You see how that arrow is, is into the curve. So it has normal acceleration towards the center of the curve of v squared over rho, so of 12 squared over 100. So 12 squared over 100, uh, and we're lucky that the, all of that is in the i direction, it's in, and it's actually in the negative i direction. We'll do some problems where your normal acceleration could, if it's at an angle, 
them do 12 squared, squared over 100. Cosine, you know, 40i. And sine 40j, something like that. You'll get some practice in that. All right, so that is the acceleration of B. Don't, don't forget when things are in a circular path, don't forget about normal acceleration. All right, so minus the acceleration of A. A is not in a circular path. You don't have to worry too much. Just it's speeding up or slowing down. It's going down this way, but it is slowing down, which means its acceleration is, is back. Um, so acceleration is up there. So 2 cosine 60, uh, 2 cosine 60 in the I, and 2 sine 60 in the J. And so just be careful make sure that minus is distributed to both of those. Acceleration of B slash A. I've got negative 2.44 I minus 4.73 J. Uh, need units. Please pay attention to your units. If it's in feet, I need feet per second. Feet per second squared. Uh, it's a real easy or hard way to lose a point, you know, on your test. Did everything completely right, but you put meters per second when it should have been meters per second squared, or you put meters when it should have been feet. So pay attention uh, to your units. Uh, let's let's look at this figure. Um, maybe don't don't write on this, don't draw on this, because this isn't part of this problem. What if car B was right here? What if car B was right here going at 12 meters per second right there and slowing down, or no, sorry, it was, if it was increasing its acceleration at three right there. And let's say this was a, oh, I don't know, 25 degree angle right there. All right, so let's say B was right there, and it was, it was coming this way at 12. It's increasing its speed at 3, uh, but it's at this 25-degree angle. Uh, for this velocity of B, we would need to take that 12 and break it up into I and J. Right? We would need to take that 12 and break it up into I and J. Uh, and, and we'd use this 25-degree angle, but, but not exactly, you know, how it's drawn. You, you can draw some triangles. And that's what you're going to practice with um, this next um, glass floor problem is getting this direction correct. This is how I like to think about it. If you like to do what I do, this line right there is 25 degrees from horizontal. Correct. That line that that I gave you the 25 degrees for that line is 25 degrees from horizontal. But the velocity is perpendicular to that line. That's a radial line. That's right. The velocity would be perpendicular to that radial line. So if the line is 25 degrees from horizontal, I think that means my velocity would be 25 degrees from vertical. So I would, it's, it's 25 degrees from vertical. You know, we did this on thing in statics, things that are perpendicular. If one is, you know, 25 degrees from horizontal, the thing is perpendicular is 25 degrees from vertical, right? And so I'd put uh, 12 sine 25 in the I and then negative 12 cosine 25 in the J for my velocity, okay? How about acceleration? So if, and then again, this is not the, what this problem is, but for the acceleration, this three is very similar to velocity, you know? So whatever the... That three is also 25 degrees from vertical, right? That three is not along the blue line that I gave you the angle for, okay? How about normal acceleration? Normal acceleration is 25 degrees from horizontal. Normal acceleration is on that blue line. Just be careful because it's going into the curve, all right? So just a little hints and heads up on those angles um, because, well, we'll see how, how well you do on this glass book problem. All right.